Hi everyone, today is my Christmas message 2021. nice and Christmassy. What I just wanted to do was um, wish you all a Merry Christmas and today um, I was going to do a, just a little Christmas message or yearly message, roundup message for the past year and it, it's nothing like the Queen's speech but on Christmas Day of course here in the UK and England we have the Queen give a Christmas message which is something that is um, done yearly and it's nice to just hear what she has to say about the year. So my little message is to say Happy Christmas to you all. Um, I am recording this before Christmas so all the presents are still under the Christmas tree at the moment and I look forward to opening them because some of them of course I know what they are because they're gifts for other people. But of course there's others there that I have no idea and I've been very good this year. I haven't actually had a feel or a, a lift up to find out how heavy or light they are. So it'd be a nice surprise on Christmas day for me. But buying Christmas gifts is always nice. You can always do funny, funny gifts and um, nice gifts as well. But all depends who you're buying for. But of course I've also got all the food and the drink as well ready. So by the time this goes out, I will have um, probably gained a few pounds because of everything of, um, we've, we've had over the Christmas period. Um, but that doesn't matter. I'll come back to my weight later on. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but opening presents, when's the right time to open them? I must admit, when I was a, a younger when I was a child, we had our Christmas stockings to open there and then on the morning when we woke up. And then it wasn't until after we'd been to church um, that we were then able to open our main presents. Now, um, I know a lot of people who have got children. All of the presents are opened up as soon as the, they wake up in the morning. And that's why, of course, they have their Christmas Eve boxes. Um, but nowadays, for um, myself, we actually open our Christmas presents because it then elongates the day. We actually open our presents after we've had our Christmas dinner, which is during the afternoon. So it's usually about half past four, five o'clock um, on Christmas day that we open our presents. When we're absolutely stuffed full with, and our bellies are just can't take any more. And so just a bit of a lull between main course and dessert, then I, I and the family that I'm with, um, will then have our Christmas presents to, to open and, and enjoy. And then after all of that, then we'll probably have dessert. <laughs> now, of course, my channel, I started in, let me work this one out. I started in 2020. So, but I started it before the lockdowns happened. We knew about COVID. So, when I was deciding what to do with my channel, it was, oh, I'll be able to go out and about and see places and do things. But of course, pandemic happened, lockdown happened, and everything just changed. It was the point of, well, can't go out anywhere. So I started and you saw me do loads of things at home, different things. And then um, things started to ease a bit. But again, of course, beginning of this year we also then had another lockdown so had to do more things at home but I've I've enjoyed what I've done there's it's, it's changed what I've wanted to do because what I really wanted to do was be able to go out and about but of course with the pandemic yes I we are able to go out and about but I'm still not able to do exactly what I want to do because um, there's still restrictions in certain places so when you actually do the uh, go out to places, say Ely Cathedral. I did actually want to go into Ely Cathedral to actually have a look around, but I wasn't able to because you've got to wear your face masks and also you've got to book, book a time slot for to go in as well. So it's, it's difficult. So fingers crossed, things might get better and change, but who knows with what's happening in the coming, coming 
days and stuff like that. We just don't know. But I'm always looking for ideas. So, and so what I would say is by all means, message me and um, ideas that you think, oh, why not go here? Why not go there? Um, but remember, it's a family channel. So, <laughs> but what else has happened this year? I've done my weight loss. Um, you've seen me do my exercises. Well, not all, all of the time, but I've done my weight loss. And um, I've also been able to um, have my surgery, to have my implants replaced, um, which have has all gone very, very well. So there's been many different things. So when you look at my videos over the what is it, 18 months, 20 months I've been doing doing my YouTube channel. There's so many different things and you can see how my weight has changed, I hope. But what it has also done has given me an opportunity to go back and look at other clothes that I haven't been able to wear um, and then be able to try on and go, it fits. So it, it's lovely to be able to do that in for for you but for me because it's for me trying on all my all my clothes that I've actually got which I, I do do like to wear <sighs> well that's really my little roundup but what I will do is just say that I do read all your comments that you send me um, some have to be removed but others I will um, everything else I will will reply to. You've got to remember that um, this is a family orientated channel. So any ideas, please send them to me, but have to be family orientated um, and things that I can do um, on the channel. So just, I love to have ideas because I do get stuck. And that is one of the reasons why I'm doing this little roundup chat for you this, this week, because I've run out of time and it, I needed to get this sorted for you. I wanted to just let you know what's been going on. But I will ask, I don't, don't do this very often, but by all means, like and subscribe my channel uh, because it's nice to have my likes. And it's if you subscribe, then you get notified of any of the new videos that, that go up on my channel. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had a very nice Christmas and a festive season. And of course, we are now coming up to New Year. So I hope you are able to celebrate it wherever you are in the country and in the world <laughs> and have a lovely time. And I will see you next year in 2020. Take care. Bye.